very simple to times or divide fractions. We don't have to worry about having the same denominator. And in these cases, we observe that 3 times 2 is 6, and 5 times 7 is 35. That is the answer. When we divide by fractions, there's one little trick. Now, dividing fractions is not easy, but if we reciprocate, which means flip over the second fraction, it creates a multiply sign. They are both called the inverse. The inverse of divide is times, the inverse of 5 sevenths is 7 fifths, and they are the same question. We then do 2 times 7 is 14, and 9 times 5 is 45. And that is the answer. When we have mixed fractions, either being divided or multiplied, the same procedures work, but first of all we must convert them into top-heavy fractions. Now 3 and 1 fifth. We do 3 times 5, which is 15, plus a 1, which is 16, it is 16 over 5. Divide by 2 times 3 is 6, plus the 1 is 7 over 3. When we divide fractions, we can rewrite it by reciprocating second fraction, and rather than dividing, we times. And then 16 times 3 is 48, 5 times 7 is 35. But to finish off, what you may do is you may say, how many 35s are there in 48? 1. Remainder 13 over 35. That is the answer as a mixed fraction rather than a top heavy fraction.